Guys, my mind has literally been blown about Love the Way You Lie by Eminem featuring Rihanna. It was actually written by Skylar Grey, who shows up on Tragic Endings on Eminem's new revival album, and she wrote it for an entirely different purpose. Love the Way You Lie does not mean what you think it means. Okay, I mean, it means that, sort of, it, yeah, it kind of does. It's weird. But before we get into that, guys, I have to let you know that on Wednesday, I'm going to be releasing a video called How Eminem Writes Lyrics. It's going to be awesome, and there's probably going to be something else cool coming on Friday. We'll see. And because I don't like keeping people in suspense, let's see what Rihanna has to say about the song and how she got it wrong. She says, this song gave a voice to not only victims, but also what I really enjoy about the song is not only how cleverly written it is, unbelievably, I can't believe he wrote the song like that, but the fact that he confronts himself on this record was the biggest thing for me, and I think that's what people connected to the most. Rihanna had just just gotten out of an abusive relationship with Chris Brown one year before this song was released. And so for a lot of us, when we heard Eminem, somebody who is kind of like this person who talks about abuse a lot in his music, and then we hear Rihanna singing on it, who is this person who was abused, I think a lot of us were scratching our heads. At least based on the roles that Eminem takes in his music, we're kind of asking why is the abuser hanging out with the victim? But the song wasn't originally intended to be about that. Skylar Grey went to a cabin in the woods and was trying to write music and kind of find herself, and she had just had a really tough time with the music industry, and so she says this about it. My abusive relationship with the music industry was one of my inspirations for the hook. And now while she had also had this really awful boyfriend at the time who also helped inspire it, the main focus for her her seems to have been the fact that the music industry had sort of left her feeling kind of bummed out. And so she had isolated herself for a little while to find some creativity and to get some things sorted out as she put some music together. So originally the song wasn't just intended to be about abuse victims and the abusers. Though if you think that's what the song is about, you're wrong about that too. While the chorus sung by Rihanna really sounds like it's from a female abuse victim's perspective, just gonna stand there and hear me cry, well that's all right because I love the way you lie. Someone who doesn't know that she can ask for better in life Life. Eminem's verses are far more egalitarian, though he does tend to make things his fault more often, but only manipulatively. But let's back up. Let's look at the beginning of what Eminem says. I can't tell you what it really is, I can only tell you what it feels like. So he's basically saying, I'm going to explain to you what this feeling is of somebody who abuses other people. He describes himself as high off her love, drunk from her hate. Her emotions give him fuel, but the relationship isn't all that great. And he says, where are you going? And she says, I'm leaving you. He says, no, you ain't. Come back. We're running right back. Here we go again. And if you watch the music video, you see that both members of the couple start attacking each other at different times. And then at sometimes they just inexplicably are like, oh, actually, you know what? I'm kind of turned on. Let's have sex instead. Eminem continues, but when it's bad, it's awful. I feel so ashamed. I snap, who's that dude? I don't even know his name. I laid hands on him. I'll never stoop so low again. I guess I don't know my own strength. So he's worried that like she's cheating on him with somebody else. So he attacks that person and he tells her like, I'm sorry, I'll never do that again, but only as a way to get her to stay. And in the second verse, he takes a moment to talk to other angry people like him. He says, you swore you'd never hit him, never do nothing to hurt him. Now you're in each other's face. He feels like the best of intentions just can't help but fall apart for him. And then he says, now you get to watch her leave out the window. Guess that's why they call it window pane. Now this is definitely an interesting pun and I would love to hear what you guys think. Is this a good pun or a bad pun? It seems a little bit forced to me, but I get what he's doing. So essentially all of his mistakes have culminated in him losing this person who makes him feel alive, whether that's a good or a bad thing. And then in verse three, he confronts her. He says, but your temper is just as bad as mine is. You're the same as me when it comes to love. You're just as blinded. Baby, please come back. It wasn't you, baby, it was me. So he changes his tone all in the space of four lines. At first he's like, no, you are just as much to blame and I'm not the only bad person here. And then he flips it around and he says, actually, you know what? No, don't leave, I promise, it was me. It doesn't sound super sincere, which makes it weird when a couple lines later he says, don't you hear sincerity in my voice when I talk? And he's being an unreliable narrator here because the answer is no. He tells her next time I'm pissed, I'll aim my fist at the drywall. Next time, there won't be no next time. I apologize even though I know it's lies. There we go back again. Now he's acknowledging that he's not even being sincere. And then he just plain old gets more angry and he can't take his attempts at sounding sincere or sounding like he's going to be a patient person. And at the very end of his last rap, he says, I know I'm a liar. If she ever tries to F and leave again, I'm a tired of the bed and set this house on fire. Eminem is not strictly speaking talking about his own life here. He is acting as a narrator creating a character sketch of somebody else. He's describing somebody else's tendencies and because maybe he's been in similar relationships, he can do it really well, really effectively and very accurately. But even still, he's not necessarily 
really talking about his relationship with his ex-wife, Kim Mathers. Love the Way You Lie is a really interesting song because Eminem does something that he does best and it's him just being angry and letting that anger show us something about the human experience that most people who don't get into those situations don't get to experience. Rihanna is singing about something that was at least close to her art at the time, but is the song any good? Uh, Tracy Clark Flory at Salon says, ultimately when analyzing the potential impact of this video, the most important thing to remember is that teenagers are savvy at recognizing and tossing out morality lessons that are merely tacked onto a tale that is otherwise designed to be erotic. And I see where she's coming from, but I have to say that I think Eminem is doing a really good job of creating this character sketch and developing it from different sides and being accurate. A lot of times the key to making a good morality lesson that works well in entertainment is to be accurate and honest and vulnerable. When Eminem talks about some of these thoughts, I think he's actually sharing thoughts that maybe he's had before. They just sound too real to be otherwise. And so I think the lesson is effective while also still being interesting, even if at times it does feel like we're being taught something. And I think that's my big question for you guys, is do you think that Love the Way You Lie is a good pop song? Not is it a good song or is it a good lesson or is it a good story, but does it fit on the radio? I don't think it sounds anything like anything I've ever heard from Camila Cabello or Justin Bieber or Selena Gomez. Even if Eminem is often on the wrong side of the right answer, he often goes deeper and digs further into something than so many other mainstream artists do because he's willing to say things that other people just aren't willing to say. So even if he's not always right, he's at least honest. Which not always, but often I think is better than an artist who doesn't have the guts or the desire to say anything at all. And that's why I'm explaining how Eminem writes lyrics coming up in a couple days here, guys. Be sure to check out that video and my other explanations of Eminem on this channel. What Eminem song should I explain next time? Check out these two videos. I know that you'll like them and I'll talk to you next time.